let us continue right now. We're at the very end. Oh, I thought we did this. Did it not save? What happened out there? Bloody hell. You finished the ritual from the volcano then? Elias, that's the man who summoned Lilith. You're saying he summoned a lesser evil too? Keep up, girl. Is Andariel gone? Yes. And Elias? He fled. Before oh, is it though decent steps, worth getting out? Elias it is. It is. I was thinking about this last night. It's why I'm hunting him. We already saw it. this. I could actually skip this. Um, I was thinking about it last night. I think this is on par with two for me. Like Diablo two is my favorite Diablo, and this seems to be on par, if not slightly better. So I would say it's definitely worth getting. Don't buy into the early access, especially because the game comes out tomorrow night or midnight your time tomorrow, I should say. Um, like Tuesday morning. Uh, yeah, so it, there's no point in buying into early access right now. So I would say if you want to get it, get the standard edition and just wait until Tuesday and get it, you know, start it. It's very fun. All I've been thinking about is playing more of it throughout the entire weekend, even when I wasn't streaming it. Like yesterday, it was very hard not to, like, do a second stream. Because all I wanted to do was play more of this. Oh, for sure, I love Diablo 2. Didn't really play 3. So didn't know if there was ever going to come back to it, to be honest. It was looking interesting, this one. This one's very much a... It's more 2 than 3. If that makes any sense. It, it, it plays and feels a lot more like Diablo 2 did. And the, like even the story is kind of darker, which three, I mean, obviously it was a Diablo game, so it was a little dark, but the cartoon aesthetic that three had, it made it feel less impactful. And now they're kind of going back to that gritty, gory, creepy look, which I love personally. Listen, I didn't mention it earlier, but uh, you did well. You stood against Andario, a lesser evil and lived. That's no ordinary feat. But don't let it go to your head. The arrogance and foolhardy never last long in Hauzar. I wonder what old Deckard Cain would have written in his chronicles if he had seen us. Two old friends reunited. New allies eager to learn from our vast knowledge. Bound as one against the encroaching darkness like the Haradrim of old. <laughs> They were probably lost and bitter, just like us. But Cain had a gift for seeing the good in people. One thing was certain, at least. Lilith meant to devour Mephisto and claim his power as her own. Had that been her goal all along? Not sanctuary, but a bid to reign in hell. And Elias, the damned fool, was too blind to see it. Perhaps we weren't perfect. But we knew we had to make a stand. We were the world's only hope. Yeah, sounds good, Nelly. Um, I will say a few things, though. One, the game is a games as a service now. This one, so... There's not necessarily a definitive end to it. There's the campaign, but they're going to add to the campaign, kind of like an MMO. Like, with free updates and with uh, expansions. Um, meaning there's probably never going to be a Diablo 5, or at least not anytime soon, because they're just going to continue to add to this one. Um, but also with that being said, that also means uh, it's it's an MMO light. You're always online. There's no way to play offline. If the servers are down, you can't play. If you have bad internet, you're going to have a hard time, that kind of thing. Uh, since it's always online now. If the updates are free, I don't mind. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm going to guess major story content will be kind of like FF14, but Diablo, yes. Except you don't have to pay a monthly fee. You just have to pay the upfront price for the game. 
Um, obviously, when they add the expansions, I'm sure they're going to charge for those, but that makes sense. But as of right now, you can kind of think of it as like FF14, but Diablo. There's like plans and guilds and stuff very similar to other MMOs. Also, there's going to be a season pass system. Um, season one starts sometime in July, I think they said. So there will be a reason to kind of come back if you want to do those season passes or battle passes, whatever you want to call them. All cosmetic. There's no pay to win or anything. They've confirmed that. There is a cash shop where you can buy cosmetics as well. But once again, you don't get any actual in-game boosts for it. It's just looks. Though I will say the, um, the cap shop's pretty pricey, like even for this type of game. Like I'm talking the cheapest thing you can buy is like 15 US dollars. And the most expensive thing I've seen is like 28. So they charge quite a lot for the microtransaction cosmetics. Like, it's rough. I can actually take a look in a second. Well, level 35 plus, I'm, I'm out of here. I need to get to where I need to be. I will die in this area if I stick around. But yeah, when I have a second, I can, ch I can actually bring up the shop and show you. If you're interested. Is this a... Oh, yeah, this is a... Uh, sanctuary. You were a student of Elias's, Taisa? Okay, before I, I start that... Elias, pretending to study with him. Going. Yeah, so before we continue the main story, I'll show you that shop. Uh, Pete. Come and don the mantle of history's champion. Okay, so there's like a recommended for you thing, and then it, the outfits go by class. So I'm playing sorcerer, so for example, here, you can get this skin. This like, kind of reminds me of Katana from Mortal Kombat a little bit, but like a frost mage thing. Uh, 2,500 platinum, which you would have to pay $25 to have enough. So this skin, this outfit, cosmetic outfit is $25. Um, then there's like this one that's a little cheaper. 12, so $12, but... How much would he have to buy? You would still have to buy the 25 to have enough. Like, they put it just over what you would pay for for the $10 bundle. I mean, if anything, you could pay the $9.99 and then the $1.99 and have enough. But y you know what I'm getting at. It's like you would. Yeah, it's to like one one pr or one platinum equals one penny. Then there's, like, back accessory. This is $8 just for this back accessory. Like, it's a little pricey, for sure. I don't really plan on getting anything unless it's, like, DLC. You know, like, story content or whatever. Like, I could pay the 10 extra, you know, 1,000 platinum, the $10, and get the ultimate edition upgrade, which gives you some stuff. Yeah, you get the uh, Wings of the Creator emote and 20 tier skips in the Battle Pass when that comes out. But yeah, so, you know, it's a standard cash shop in games like that, but yeah. I am the wise man. Ooh, barbecue pasta. Sounds good, Marty. He's a, he's a wise man. Sort of like in he's, he's the bundle packs. Yeah. He's the, he's the wise man. Exactly. 
Yes, my tribal chief. Uh, how are we going to stop Elias? We must break his hold on immortality. He cannot continue to escape his judgment. Yes. And without Elias, we may have more success against Lilith. Where do we start? Seek out Timoe in the marshes. She traded with the power in the swamp and received long life. She may have the answer to killing Elias for good. I kind of want barbecue pasta now. Nayrel and I will start looking for her. <laughs> that sounds really good. He has his hands full with the soul stone. A heavy burden to bear alone. Might be wise to offer him assistance. All right, we got to go talk to Donan. Ooh, nice, Nelly. Sounds good. Will you journey with Alorath and Nerel into the swamp? I think not. I have to take care of the Soul Stone. Lorath will be fine alone. Northeast of here is a Zakarum keep. I'm not the biggest Rose we guy. Know hatred has Depends. a strong presence there. Perhaps we can use it to prepare the Soul Stone to trap Lilith. I could use your assistance if you're able. All right, I did level up from that. I could max out my lightning spear. That might be the either that or maxing out the static discharge. Uh, what else can I get actually? Uh, I can't get any of these glyphs. I think these are glyphs. Oh no, they're just straight up passives. You can only have one key passive, so I can only have one of these. But I can't get it until I'm level, like, five more levels, so it's fine. Um, I think I'm just going to max up my Lightning Spear. Alright, so... Yeah, we're on Act 5, we have two... Oh, no. Wait, really? Okay, that's not good. So I'm level 27, and apparently all these quests are level 35. I might have to do some grinding. I haven't had to do any grinding yet in this game, but I have to now. Okay. Okay, well, I guess we're doing level grinding. I didn't want to have to do this, to be honest. I wanted to just go through the main story, but we, we kind of have to. There's no option. Kind of unfortunate. Uh, let me do a little bit of selling. Well, breaking down. I'll just break down everything. Why am I getting so much lag all of a sudden? Weird. Yeah, we can just break down all that. Yeah, Kyova shot's a little laggy at the moment. Also, late last night and this morning when I booted up the game before stream, the there was a queue time wait, which the rest of the weekend there wasn't a single queue time wait. So I think people are starting to actually start playing the early access. So it's getting a lot of, um, you know, we're getting a lot of uh, a lot more people playing, essentially. start doing these uh, open events get some levels Got it. 
some gear. A lot of people are apprehensive about the game and sort of waited like me. Yeah. No, they did a great job. <laughs> Definitely one of the uh, better Blizzard games in recent memory. Because I feel like most of their games lately have been kind of misses more than hits. You know what I mean? So finally they're getting something good out there. Like, obviously, I did have my doubts, but uh, most of those doubts are gone now. I have more positive things to say than negative. Need to get this waypoint that I missed. This was literally the tutorial area, and I didn't even grab the town waypoint. Father bless. What do you need? If anything breaks, the forge is hot. All right. So what we're gonna be doing right now is I'm gonna do this um, class quest, the sorcerer quest, which should unlock our first glyph slot. Oh, there's a vent down here as well. Forgetting the buttons for some reason. My brain is not working this morning. I'm not ready yet. I keep hitting the horse button to try to heal. Did it again. Oh, that spawned a bunch of dudes? Okay. Alright, uh, anything? And eh, not really. Nothing good out of that. You are you the one who's been calling me? Please forgive the mental intrusion. I could only trust another mage. I've searched too long and too far for the hidden archives to give up at its entrance. I'm looking for a book known as the Forgotten Codex, said to be in the archives. According to legend, the Forgotten Codex is a compendium of enchantment techniques developed by the Nia Mage Clan. Some say Zoltan Kuhl himself was one of the authors. Unfortunately, the place is overrun with demons beyond my skills. If you can retrieve the Codex, I can teach you the magic it contains. Could be an excellent outcome for both of us, eh? I'll see what I can do. Cool.
Oh, it's in this dungeon. Fair enough. Alright, this is our first dungeon run that's not like a main story dungeon. Whoa, that's a lot of dudes. I'm stuck. That wasn't too bad of a uh, encounter. Uh, still nothing better than what I have. Better helmet. I need time to prepare. You know what I'm kind of tempted to do, though? Is after this dungeon, I might go back to that level 35 area and see if we can actually, like, power level in it. Because we're still kind of overpowered. I'm not ready yet. To a degree. So it might be worth, you know, attempting to kind of like power level in higher areas. Yet. Worst thing that can happen is you'll die exactly. <laughs> Treasure Goblin! I'm not ready yet. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm out of mana. This room was full of enemies. And that's two elite shamans. Amazing. I'm not ready yet. I'm out of mana. I'm not ready yet. Wow. That room was very hectic. And the treasure goblin's still here. That's hilarious. Got him. Wait, really? All he dropped was an amulet? That's absolute garbage. Amazing. Amazing. 
so the loot goblin wasn't worth it. Getting a lot of elites in this dungeon. There's the box. So now we can actually open the uh, door forward. Oh, I got speed increase. Also, another thing about Diablo 4 that you may or may not know, it does have full controller support, so if you would rather play this on controller, you can. I haven't tried it on controller, but I heard some people say it's better than mouse and keyboard. Not sure how true that is, though. For it's all subjective, anyway. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to put this. I'm a keyboard and mouse player, yeah, same. Ooh, a chest. That's better pants in terms of armor. Nah, I'm gonna keep the legendary. Yeah, I get less armor for it, but the passive is really nice. Let's go this way. Frozen. There we go. Okay, that whole area is pretty much mapped and done. Whoa. I'm not ready yet. Oh, 
Uh, this should open now. I think. This guy isn't too bad. <laughs> EZ, dude. Dungeon complete. You unlock the aspect that is imprinted into your equipment. Press Y to view it. Right, so. Uh, damage an elite enemy grants barrier absorbing up to 345 damage for 10 seconds. Okay, so passives. That's You do these dungeons to unlock passives, essentially. Also, a certain somebody uh, didn't stream yesterday. I know, right? Makes me sad. He was exhausted, to be fair. I mean, true. Is he around today, or is he as mom's? He's probably busy. Aren't we all? Aren't we all? Slightly better gloves. Just edits all the time. Yeah, he does put a lot of effort into his fucking edits. It's impressive, really. You know what I do? I just uh, cut the video up into like an hour, throw on the intro, no editing in between, really, and then just render it. I could put a bunch of memes in my videos, to be fair, but I just don't. I mean, that's what we all do, Ben. I mean... There's people that, you know what, I did that dungeon and I didn't actually get the fucking item out of it. Um. Yeah, but I don't meme my videos that much. I could go in and add, like, stupid memes. Here and there, but. Well, because I left the dungeon, um, it reset. So, time to go through this again. the meme itself, I mean, true. It's gonna be fun with us one day, and then he won't want to talk to us anymore. Sag. Actually, Sag. Oh, jeez.
Ooh. Yoink. I know where he lives. Oh no. I'm in on the house party if somebody buys my ticket. I mean, what? Crafty's rich, he'll pay. <laughs> Thank you, Crafty. Thank you. I was gonna die there to be honest. Oh, oh, oh. We're good. All right, that's to do the dungeon. I don't want to do the dungeon. I already did it. What I want is the item that I need for the story. I do have a skill point. Uh, let's throw it into... I don't really use ball lightning that much, but I might as well just start leveling it up. the codex that's just one of the boxes how much gold do i have 210 not bad uh, 210k ain't bad at all And there's the book. I can just leave, I think.
Should be able to just leave. Since I already technically finished the dungeon on that previous run. Got the aspect out of it. Oh, and this event respawns, so I might as well do it again. So many enemies. I need time. I'm not ready yet. yet. Shit. Oh, did it despawn? Oh, no, I just failed the optional objective. That's fine. And I'm out of inventory space. Amazing. Probably drop some of these blue items. All right, here's the codex. Let's see here. Yes. Yes, without a doubt, this is the forgotten codex. Finally. I am bound by my word. You shall know the magic secrets contained in this book. We will work together. Come, I have prepared for this ritual. Oh, go inside the shack. All right, let me get these incantations sorted properly. Would you be so kind as to light the elemental braziers? Sure. Sparks of fire, peaks of earth, he tides of water, gales of air, hear us. Hmm. Looks like some of these pages are damaged. No matter. I can infer the meaning from context. Okay. Are you sure that's wise? I refuse to let caution keep me from the secrets of this book. I've come too far. Oh, great powers of the elemental forces, guardians of the hidden gates. I call to you in the names of the divine and infernal powers that you would hear us and obey. That should do it. You have to take a firm hand with these spirits. <sighs> Something is wrong. Yeah, because you've messed up.
Is that it? I... I don't know what to say. I'm certain my interpolations were correct. Or at least in the spirit of the original. All this wasted effort. Perhaps my translation of the book was incorrect. I'm going back to Kuras to study my notes again. I think it's best if I leave the book with you. Consider it thanks for your help. Thank you for the book, I guess. All right. That is that class thing done. Class quest. Enhancement slot unlocked? Oh, yeah. Assign a skill to this enhancement slot to receive passive benefits. Well, I use the... Not the lightning spear, the... Um, chain lightning a lot. Let's put that in there. Uh, the modifiers... Oh, chain lightning forms automatically after spending 100 mana. Interesting. Uh, what? Yeah, that's the uh, enhancement effect. Okay. What about this one, Spark? Killing an enemy has a 14% chance of forming crackling energy. Lightning spear. Uh, after critically striking lightning spear has a Increased stacking critical chance. Uh, stuns enemies. What about unstable current? You can't do that. Okay. Now nah, we'll give it to Chain Lightning. Do you I like that. To Yo, Nick! Like to How you doing? Oh, well, Bonus Ben indeed. I'm tired of doing this event over and over again, so I'm gonna skip it this time. Hope you're doing well, Nick. And yes, a bonus stream because I really want to get through this. <laughs> Let's go back to Kyovashad. There's six acts. Act four was literally an intermission. It was only three missions and a boss fight. It wasn't really a full blown act. So we have ent the entirety of Act five and the entirety of Act six, and then an epilogue, which is just probably more. Exposition. Um, but yeah, we're just getting through it. There we go. I'm going to sell a few things. Fair trade. Yes, I would love some money. Well and good fortune. How much money do I have now? Two seventy-two thousand. Sort that out. These legendaries, I'm. I do have enough for another tab, but I'm not gonna worry about that yet. All right, let's go down to the level 35 stuff. I'm actually curious if I can, like, survive. I'm level 28. Level 28, level 35 area, we might be okay. It'll be hard mode, but it's fine. Oh yeah, sounds good, Nick. No worries. Enjoy the lurk. Plus, I have my mount, so I can just run past everything Not anyway. Alright, so we're officially in, like, the swamp area. The swamp region. Which was never my favorite in Diablo 2, at least. Never cared for the swamp regions in Diablo games. Yeah, see, I'm doing all right.
These level 35s have nothing on. Nothing on me. It's fine. Anyway, the plan is hopefully we'll finish Act 5 today and then Act 6 will be finished. I think I might do some more bonus streams throughout the week, like shorter ones. Like one and a half, two hours, roughly. Um, just to kind of get through the rest of it, because I do want to continue Final Fantasy 15 next weekend. Like really bad, so. I'll probably just do a couple extra streams throughout the week and finish this up. got a legendary ring. I'll check out that legendary in a minute. See if it's any good. Loop of Static Cling, if you cast Charged Bolts, ha or your cast of Charged Bolts have a 23% chance of a, a, be attracted to enemies that last 300% longer. That ain't bad. Wait, do I, do I use that, though? No, I, I don't use Charged Bolts, so that's actually not for me. I'll put it in my chest back at the base, or back at the uh, safe point. Do you feel that? Mephisto's touch is heavy here. All that hatred. It's just what we need to attune the Soul Stone, to make it ready for Lilith. I'm too old to climb, but you can get in and open the portcullis. You okay? Funny thing, uh... Sorcerer? I feel like it's super overpowered, personally. They did a patch last night that balanced some of the classes. They didn't change anything about Sorcerer. Like, I think Sorcerer is probably the most overpowered class in the game, and they nerfed everything else but Sorcerer. <laughs> Which I find hilarious. Lots of skeletons here. Climbing up here. A oh, lots of climbing here, actually. I think I'm going down this or across this way. 
kind of a, a mini maze. Is there anything back here? There is an altar. I had a feeling. There's also a lot of dungeons in this small area. One, two, three. I'm not ready yet. And we get ourselves a waypoint. Gonna open that portcullis. They're finally back. Hurry. Everything here makes my skin crawl. Okay, Donan. Calm down. Hold up for me. Do you hear that? How strange. Are there wolves in Hawazar? That's nah, probably Mephisto. Since Mephisto, we now know, can turn into a wolf. As of yesterday's stream. That's crazy. We're we're level 28, almost 29, and we're in a level 35 area, and we're still like breezing through it. Whatever else is here. Crazy. Hatred persists. Strong enough to attune the soul stone. I have a feeling once we hit the boss, though, it's gonna get a little rough. Dun Tanis, Berry, Dis, Tom Hiklimon. Wrong with it. Wrong with what? <laughs> I'm not ready yet. Like as you can see right now, I'm almost dead. We made it, though. Come on. Come on. You old fool. What's wrong with it? Why will... Oh, no. This is worse than I thought. It must have been damaged when you're in... Astaroth. Do you know how to repair it? We'll need... rare materials. Quicksilver to start. And tools, alchemical tools. There's a village near here. We'll see if they have what we need. Meet me there when you can. And we're level 29. 